I'm back with another video. Based on the request of the last video I made, how to change the joystick on the right side for your Nintendo Switch Lite and how to replace it. It's completely way much easier to replace the left one than the right one. The right one is really complicated a little bit. And I made a video on that. And most of you guys keep asking me how to do it, the left one. And I'm gonna make a demonstration video how to change the one on the left. This one is working fine. Just for you guys, I'm gonna do it. We replaced the right one on the last video. So we, you need to get another joystick for your left one. You want to power up the console and you want to make sure there's no part, game part, and there's no SD card. This one has an SD card. Remove the SD card and remove the game card. You're going to go over the tools. The screwdriver set that I used in the last video, the iFix screwdriver set. And we are going to be using a Phillips double zero and a Y double zero. Okay, also you need an opening tool. If you get a pro set, they will give you the opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And tweezers, a sharp tweezer, and plastic spatula. All right, we're gonna grab the Y00. We're gonna remove the four screws on the back cover quickly. Right there. And then we're going to switch to a Phillips double zero. I have no idea why they did this. They just simply could keep it as a Phillips. Remove two on the bottom. Right by the power jack. And two on the top, one on the left and one on the right side. So remove this one. They are the same size. Okay, once you remove this one, you want to grab it. Opening tool, you want to put it right there and you just want to twist it all around like this on the bottom and twist a little bit, go to the sides and you want to hit those tiny clips. You want to do that on the left and on the right side. You always want to start from the bottom and then you want to lift it up like that. Once it's like that, you want to come on top and you want to scoop right through here a little bit, not too much. and. Once you get that loosened up, you lift it up and it should come up pretty easy. Right there. Okay, this part don't worry about, it. just don't stress it. Just put it right through there and that's it. Make sure this cable goes straight right there. Okay, to replace this one, which was the right one, it was the really complicated. We had to remove the whole thing, but on the left one, it's very, very simple and we're gonna do it. First thing first, use a spatula to open up this lock right here, okay? And pull the flex cable back, okay? Now there's no power or anything to the board. Remove the, uh, remove this screw right over here. This is a Phillips by the speaker. Okay, and bring up the speaker and you don't have to detach the speaker cable, just leave it on the side. Remove the flex cable for the joystick right there. And use a tweezers to pull back the flex cable. Same thing, open up the lock for this one and this one right here. And pull back the power on volume rocker right there. And whatever this cable goes. Now... You're gonna remove this one. We're gonna remove two screws for this LZ. It is LZ, right? Yeah. And remove two screws for that one. Put it to one side, lift it up, put it right there. Remove one screw right over here. And two screws right in the middle beside them. They have a little different colors, so you know. The gold color are the one that goes through the plastic and the other one is the one with a bigger gold pad. There's one more screw right down here. Remove that one too. Okay, now you can just lift up the board and bring it to side. This one actually came up with the whole this path, so you can put this one back on top. Okay, 
Again, then there is your joystick, right? Two, remove two screws and pull the joystick out and push in your new joystick down there. Put the two screws and there you have it. So to put it back together, make sure you pull these cables on the side upward and bring the board right over and set it down pull the flex cable for the joystick and first we're going to put the two screws in the middle these are the gold colored screws So it keeps the board in, in a place so it doesn't move around. Okay. Put one of the white screws right in here, the chrome ones. And the second chrome ones goes right over here. Okay. Grab this trigger right here and put it right on top. And put the two screws for the trigger. Okay, once you put that one in there, make sure the locks are open for these ones and use a tweezer and squeeze these cables right through there. I can do it in the camera right there. Push it there, lock it down. Grab the volume rocker and the power button. Put it right in this slot right there. Bring it down and same thing. Just have a little patience putting those flex cable right there and then bring the speaker goes right there and put a screw for the speaker right beside it okay and this bridge connector goes straight right in there and you lock it down and there we go and that's how you replace the right joystick, I mean, left joystick. Okay, once you did that, grab the bottom power, you scoop down the audio jack, that's the one that you want to scoop down first. So bring it over and squeeze this side down, just has to go right there. Once that one is squeezed, just pinch the top bottom cover. There we go. And now you can squeeze the sides. Make sure you hit those tiny clicks. And that's it. And the last thing is use the Y screw to put the back screws on the floor and the Phillips screw to put the two on top and two on the bottom. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. Or I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.